Introducing Singo, a powerful single injection treatment for the management of osteoarthritis pain. Singal is a combination visco supplement that combines the long-lasting benefits of a cross-linked hyaluronic acid with a well-established and fast-acting steroid. Hello, I'm Robert Deacon. I'm an orthopedic surgeon in Oakville, Ontario, Canada. I have a practice that specializes in the treatment of conditions of the knee including sports medicine, knee ligament reconstruction, and knee osteoarthritis. I've been in practice for 30 years, and I've been an advocate since the early days of my practice for the use of hyaluronic acid injections in the knee for the treatment of osteoarthritis. I'm going to use this model to demonstrate the injection portals that are commonly used. The first would be the anteromedial and anterolateral injection portals. These are similar to what's used in arthroscopy. So just lateral to the patellar ligament in this direction is the anterolateral injection portal. And then the anteromedial injection portal here, just medial to the patellar ligament. These injections are directed back towards the intercondylar notch. The problem with this injection technique is it may involve the fat pad, the anterior cruciate ligament, or the articular cartilage. A more reliable means of injection is to use one of the mid-patellar portals, either lateral or medial, or super-patellar portals above the patella. I use a modified mid-patellar portal, which has been shown by Jackson to be the most accurate. I inject at the superior pole of the patella, with the patella laterally displaced, directing the needle down at a 45 degree angle in the coronal plane and trying to abut or rest up against the patellar articular cartilage. That way I know I'm in the knee joint. I then inject and I look for a lack of resistance on the needle so I know that the injection is in the joint. In preparation for the injection, it's important that the patient is supine and completely relaxed. And I have them put their hands on their tummy and relax the knee making sure that the muscles here on the quads and hamstrings are completely relaxed. I'm then going to assess the knee to detect if there's any effusion. And so we'll do a, a ballotment test and then a milk test to make sure that there's no effusion present. And here there's no fluid in the knee, so we can go ahead with the injection. We'll begin by prepping the area with the chlorhexidine prep stick. And we'll start in the area of the injection, which will be right here. We'll prep 10 centimeters medial, superior, inferior, and lateral to the area of the injection. Make sure you completely cover the area. And it's always a good idea to let the prep solution dry a little bit, removing the syringe from the package, and carefully aseptically removing the lid. Deliver a 21 gauge needle aseptically to the syringe. Then donning a pair of sterile gloves. We next prepare the syringe, so taking the needle and the syringe and holding the lure lock, remove the cap, apply the needle. We'll laterally displace the patella. We'll identify the small sulcus formed at the supralateral border of the patella. And then take the needle and introduce in a 45 degree coronal plane and you'll meet the patellar cartilage, feel no resistance on the plunger and then completely deliver the syngal, remove the needle, a little pressure and then apply the band-aid. It's not uncommon after an injection of syngal to have some irritation at the injection site. There may also be a small area of erythema and perhaps some swelling. I encourage patients to take a non anti-inflammatory medication and apply some ice. Patients shouldn't have dramatic swelling in their knee after the injection, and I tell the patient to call me if they have any of these signs. Post-injection, I'll instruct the patient 
to refrain from vigorous uh, activity for about 48 hours. Now they can do day-to-day -day activities, including walking. I encourage them though not to do any vigorous and strenuous physical activities such as cycling or running. I also ask them to refrain from going in a hot tub, pool, lake or river for about 24 hours. This is simply because of the injection and the potential portal of entry of organisms into the knee.